Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Nas. And I'm Alba, and in 2021, we quit our jobs to travel the world. This year, we're starting our travels with Mexico, and today, we're gonna talk to you about Isla Mujeres. In this video, we'll take you through how to get to Isla Mujeres, the prices, and the different ways that you have to explore the island. And if you were in Cancun, or if you were thinking about going to Cancun, you've definitely come across this island. It's known for its sandy beaches, for crystal clear blue water, and overall great vibes. The island is only a 30 minute boat ride away and you can either go by taking the public ferry or booking a tour. We went by Catamaran which was a fantastic catamaran, way. Catamaran, Catamaran, Alba. Cat <laughs> <laughs> catamaran, Catamaran, however you say it. Yeah, even though you can take a ferry yourself, uh, I think getting a catamaran as part of the tour is, it, it just makes the experience a little bit more unique, let's say. Yeah, we really enjoyed the boat ride in the catamaran because the journey was smooth, there was drinks and music going on and you could really get to enjoy the sea and the Caribbean landscape and they, it had like a net at the front that you could sit on and like just really kind of chill there so we really loved it. Our tour cost is 1,100 pesos per person but the prices can go up to 1,700 pesos. So make sure that when you're booking, negotiate with the agency because they can, they can give you a better deal than they probably are. And also be mindful of the type of booking that you're making because not all, not all tours go in a catamaran. Some of them will be in a ferry or in a, sm uh, or in a smaller boat in general, uh, which will, of course, impact the type of experience you'll be having. So, so just make sure to ask. If the price is too low, it probably, it's probably too good to be true. Even though it may seem a little bit expensive for us, it was actually cost effective to take this tour because taking the public ferry alone already cost $22 per person. So we thought might as well take the catamaran and you know, do it in a fancy way. Yeah, and the first thing you need to know is whatever boat you take, once you get to the port, uh, each person has to pay a $13 fee, US dollars. Uh, and that's a government tax or a government sort of tax mm -hmm. and no one can avoid it. So it doesn't matter if you book a tour or if you go individually, per person, in addition to the ticket, you will have to pay $13 per person. Yeah. So remember that. At the start of the day, the agency picked us up at our hotel and they took, the, took us to the port. Once there, the first stop was the underwater museum. The underwater museum was something that we were really looking forward to. Uh, because we thought we were gonna see this but in reality we saw this which don't get me wrong it was still pretty amazing we saw needlefish we saw a bunch of fish swimming around but we couldn't free dive which is something that we really like we had to ha wear a chaleco all the time what's a chaleco life vest. a life a life vest all the time <laughs> look and at there was, you in <laughs> spanish and all and there was quite a few people around us and um yeah, the, the experience, uh, of course, uh, when you do it alone is different and also we were only taken to a very small part of the museum and, and we're avid swimmers so we, we wanted to see more but I guess that's part of a different tour or something that you have to do independently. Yeah, so we did some research and the official museum is called the Musa. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But turns out that the famous uh, rocks and the famous cliffs that you see on Instagram, to see those, you need to dive with the uh, oxygen and everything. Um, but they do have another section uh, of the underwater museum that's only for snorkeling. And if you do it through the official museum, it's probably much better and much longer than the one we did. Yep. However, prices do start at $50 per person only for the underwater museum. So it's quite pricey, but you know, if you really like it, it might be worth it. I'm sure it is better than the one we did. Either way, we still enjoyed it. It's just not what we were expecting. Yeah. So after we did that, they took us by boat. For, it was another 20 minutes and we got to Isla Mujeres. Now the island in itself is an absolute gem. We got to, uh, they gave us two hours to explore the island and what we did was we walked from the port to Playa Norte and the walk was super enjoyable, you can see the great vibes, there's so many colors in the island and overall this is an experience I really recommend. So if you come to Isla Mujeres just to stay in the island, it's a hundred percent a yes. Yes, it's definitely <laughs> worth it because the beaches are so nice, there's no waves, there, it's a really truly Caribbean beauty. Um, another way that you can explore the island is to get a golf cart. So the island is fairly small, 
Um, that's why they, you know, the people don't really rent cars when you get them. They rent you a gold card, which you can rent uh, for two hours for about 700 pesos, which is a really good price. Yeah. So a lot of the people use their time in the island that way. But you can definitely also explore it by foot and enjoying the, your time at the beach. Yeah, so as we said, Isla Mujeres 100% recommend. Now the third part of the tour was something that we liked a little less. A little less <laughs> to say, to say. Uh, so they took us to a, a dolphin resort. Dolphin park. A dolphin park. Yeah. Which was like the last, it, it was the last stop. So they gave us a buffet, we ate, we were by the pool. And then what they tried to do was to sell this, uh, this experience in which you could set, uh, swim with dolphins. Apparently this is super common in Cancun, uh, this uh, dolphin experience. There's a, a few of different parks. Um, but what the guy had told us is that we were going to see dolphins in their natural habitat but this was not their natural habitat like they were in cages like yeah. there was they were in the sea but caged around yeah and they were quite small as well the, the the areas in which they were confined to and it was super sad because we have a clip of a dolphin trying to trying to escape Experience. trying to open the gate uh -huh. uh, so overall not a very good experience we obviously didn't partake and and uh, we just kind of waited for for that to end. Yeah. So that was a, a a minus on the whole experience, in my opinion. Yeah, we don't support any kind of animal tourism. So we wish we had known this before we took the tour, because otherwise we wouldn't have taken it. So yeah, if if we were to summarize, the whole tour was good. It was cost effective, so we do recommend people do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe try to find an alternative to the last part of yeah. uh, of the dolphin resort. Um, we would say that we wouldn't do it again if we were given the opportunity to. I think we would take a ferry independently and go to Isla Mujeres, stay there a couple of days, and then in one of those days we would probably do the underwater uh, museum. Yeah. That's what we would probably do. Or, uh, or, you, or just find another tour where we would still take the catamaran because we really enjoy that part, yeah. uh, but the rest of it was kind of like we could have we could have explored the island by ourselves and skipped the dolphin part. Yeah. Um, but apart from that, our experience was overall positive. Obviously, you live and you learn. Um, our big learning is definitely visit Isla Mujeres. Like, you're already in Cancun. It's 30 minutes away. Do it. Why not? Why not? Yeah. But yeah, that's it for, the, for today's video. Uh, if you've watched it this far, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and a like for the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> And, uh, we will be uploading a lot more Mexico content, content because we're gonna be here between three to four weeks. So if you are coming, please subscribe. We'll share more details with you very soon. Any questions, just drop them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. See ya. Bye.